Bateman 6 TLU and I'm here to give you a little demonstration of this nice Hammerlin HQ 150 receiver. This thing is in primo condition, receives as good as my 75A4 on AM. So uh, take a look at the video here and see what you think. One of the first things I need to point out is uh, the Hammerlins are kind of famous, especially the 150, for very abrupt uh, standby switching. Um, normally you get a popping that would just tear your eardrums out. I've modified that on this receiver to solve the problem and the standby function is about the same as a Collins or a National 300. So take a look. Now we're in standby mode. I've cranked the audio up. Now we'll go back over to receive. As well, so No pop, no warbles, no whooshing sounds. Okay, well, back to you, N8WN, F control, N8ZF. Alright, so here's a sweep of the front panel. As you can see, it's very clean. I'd have to say it's probably the cleanest HQ150 I've ever ran across. And I've been lucky to own this radio for about 10 years. Alright, so let's take a look under the hood. See a little voltage regulator back there running. It's got the uh, original Hammerlin crystal filter installed. And uh, there's a power supply section, and I've put in a new filter cap and done a few audio mods to this receiver. Here it is, uh, receiving some foreign broadcast. Meter's nice and responsive on it. Com toda a humildade, mansidão, colombanidade, suportando os uns aos outros em amor. All right, calibration wise, five megahertz, right on the nose. You see WWV is right where she's supposed to be. And if we turn on the calibrator, should be able to zero beat right on top of it. There it is. All right, well, here's the uh, upper band, 18 to 31 megahertz, and I happen to be on uh, CB, 27 megahertz band. So, you can see it's got plenty of sensitivity. They get the food stamps, so they showed the house, man. They got this great big old mansion and nice car. 10-4. All right, here's a 40 meter CW band. I got some uh, crystal selectivity on. Really works rather well. I've done a lot of CW contacts using this receiver. One thing I got to point out is the dials are nice and clean and white. All the controls have been cleaned and lubed recently, and there's been some audio mods done. This receiver really works well, guys. All right, well, so there you have it. HQ150, still operating after 50 years or so. And I do have the original manual. So it's, uh, it's a real collector's piece. I'd hate to see it go, but I've been upgrading the station a little bit. And it's time for this one to move on down the road. So I hope you enjoyed my demo. Thanks.